Hey, what's up everybody? This is of course J.D. Olson at the Martial Art Limited Association YouTube channel and of course I'm at my gym, Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Unleashed and you guys are here for another video. So thank you for coming back if you've been here before and if you've never been here before, thanks for coming to check us out. So what we have today is we're gonna do a sidekick video on how to throw sidekicks. Uh, several martial arts I've done, Taekwondo, I've done uh, some Kung Fu back in the day. I do, of course, Jeet Kune Do, Filipino martial arts, karate, uh, different forms of karate, Tang Soo Do, Ninjutsu, uh, and even Muay Thai. And most of these systems all have a sidekick and a lot of them are presented in the same way. It's not gonna be more, as much uh, system-based as it is gonna be personal-based. Uh, I just did a seminar with, um, Sensei Bill Wallace, and he did a whole seminar on the sidekick itself. And it was really cool. We got to see it a couple different ways. He sets it up, and I'm gonna present some of that to you in this video. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So I have my trusty Sentry Wave Master bag. And so what I'm gonna look at is, first things first, is I wanna be sideways. And I'm gonna show you guys several different sidekicks. We're gonna go over what we call just a standard sidekick, a step sidekick, a skip sidekick, and then maybe even the flying sidekick. But we gotta start somewhere. So first things first, I check my range by using my fingertips, okay? And I am, I am sideways to my target. My hands are up, I'm gonna bring my knee up, fire it straight out, and bring it back. Notice when I load my knee, it comes across my waistline, shoots straight out with my heel, fires back in, and then goes down, okay? That is the uh, Shoiru Karate Method that I prefer to use in most instances. And this is the one that I've been doing the second longest, not the longest. So I'm here like this, I pull that knee, I fire it, I pull it back. Pull that knee, fire it, pull it back. One more time. When I took Taekwondo, what they wanted us to do is pull our knee up and then whip it out and then bring it back. Bring it up, whip it out, and then bring it back. The problem with that is if somebody jams you a little bit, if I'm here, I, I can't twist it over. But if I'm here and I still pull it in front of me, I still have the ability to fire it a little bit, which is why I prefer that method. Okay, so again, my range is here. That's how I check it. You can, of course, do either one you like. I have no preferences. It's just a matter, I mean, I have no, uh, I have no problems with you training either one. Just wanted to show you the two different methods right there. When I'm doing this here, now, if you push, throw that kick. So if I take one step, move my foot to here, and then move back. So now I'm a little bit farther away. Again, my side is still to the target. I am now gonna step behind and then throw this side kick. This is our step side kick. I step behind side kick, step behind, side kick. One more time, step behind, side kick. Notice I'm still chambering and loading my leg in that fashion. Okay, moving on to the skip side kick. So if I was here for my step side kick, my skip side kick, I'm a little bit farther yet. So probably, if, if you figured earlier, right, fingertips, I executed. I put my foot in front, I step back. You're probably gonna do the exact same thing. Foot in front, step back. Now I'm way out here, okay, probably about six feet realistically. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in with this rear leg as this leg loads up. So I'm gonna be here and then throw the side kick. One of the kickers and when you do this is not to throw and then land and then kick. Try really hard not to do that. And the reason you don't want to do that is you don't want half your energy going into the ground and the other half to go into the target. You want to have as much energy hit the target as possible and then the energy go to the ground. Okay? So, I'm way out here. I'm going to launch. <laughs> Too much power. All right, so again, pretty good distance away. I'm gonna launch my rear leg in and kick. It happens pretty close, like you see it's a boom. It's real quick. But the idea is to get more energy to go into the target than to go into the ground. Let's look at that again. So again, pretty far away. 
trying to do it in slow motion is a little bit difficult. Launching my rear leg in, and then I kick the bag. Same concept. And then of course, you have your uh, how to put in the combinations. Easy combination, maybe I go jab, cross, when I throw this hook, I use this to rotate my body, and then you fire the side kick in there. This is one of the things that Sensei Bill Wallace was teaching uh, this past week in Myrtle Beach. So you go jab, cross. When I throw this, I rotate my body to the side, maybe even slide that rear leg in. I'm a little bit close and the bag's not gonna move, so I'm okay. Then you fire your kick. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With any kick, remember your goal is finding a way to put it into a combination so the guy's not detecting it. One of my all time favorites, same concept, I jab high, I cross low, I hook high, and then you kick midsection. And what's fun is they block high, now you just punch low, and now you're hooking high, and they're probably gonna kick low. It's gonna be difficult for most people to go up, down, up, down. It's really difficult. Also, what's fun is if I'm in this range, so again, you're gonna step in a little bit, throw that punch, throw that punch, twist your body, notice how that back foot slid in a little bit, and then execute your kick. So jab, cross, hook, to the side kick. Using your same hand that you jab with, throwing the side kick. That's the sneaky part. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to go one, two, three, rotate, side kick. You're not gonna pull that off, probably ever. Okay, so jab, cross, hook, turn, side kick. And then last but not least, let's talk the flying side kick. So flying side kick is probably the most unpractical technique we're gonna do in this video. Uh, it just involves me kind of running and then launching in the air and hopefully hitting a target with my sidekick. Hitting a big bag like this, super easy. I give total respect to those that do Taekwondo demos and stuff where they're hitting a little board and they're going over several people. That's a, a cool talent, a cool skill. Is it gonna happen in a fight? Probably not, but again, not everything is about always combat. Maybe it's just simply about exercise. Maybe it's simply about flexibility. Maybe it's about building confidence and to hit maybe the, you know, this, this U and R in flight with a target's pretty awesome. Kind of like, you know, a sharpshooter or something like that. They're hitting a target pretty down the range. Is there, is their grouping going to be the same when they're in a firefight? No, probably not because there's movement and there's, there's tension, and there's action and reaction, all that. But to say that you can hit that target, you know, in controlled conditions is pretty awesome. So flying sidekick. You're going to see me come out of frame and come into frame. So I'm going to run out, flying side kick into the target. And this is the one all the kids love to do, so it's usually a fun one to do uh, in a kid's class. Okay. Of course, it's going to take a little bit of distance. So I am probably now um, 6, 12 feet away now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run. And when I hit to that uh, about the three to three and a half, four foot marker, I'm going to jump and I'm gonna execute a flying sidekick. So here we are, I take off, and you launch. And because of the momentum going behind it, it's really difficult not to knock over your bag. So you guys can pause the video, maybe play at home, practice. So again, I'm taking off, and then right here, I launch. Well, there you have it. There are, that's how to throw a sidekick, and also a few different ways in order to throw the sidekick. So you have the standard, just standard sidekick. So again, if I face the camera now, I'm looking at you guys directly. If I just bring my leg up, fire the sidekick, just like so, okay? And then you had, if I back up a little bit from camera, I step behind, throw the sidekick. Step behind, throw the sidekick. I back up a little bit more, now I skip, throw the sidekick. And I simply skip throw the sidekick. So you see now how to throw a sidekick. You also, we went over a few different options in Taekwondo versus a karate sidekick. And we did several sidekicks. I got these sidekicks from multiple different systems. Like I said, 
Tang Sudo, Shorin Ru, Shotokan, um, Kung Fu, Ji Hoon Do, all of them have different ways of doing it and I kind of just threw them all in at the same time. I'm not really sure which ones came from where all the time anymore because it's been so long. I just remembered for sure bringing your legs straight up and then whipping it out. That was our Taekwondo version that I was taught in the World Taekwondo Federation versus the one I use all the time, which I was learned in Shoiru Karate. So, and I'll put that at the bottom, Shoiru Karate. Uh, but I several, I train with, like I said, Sensei Bill Wallace this weekend, and he threw his side kicks the same way. So, you know, it's kind of cool. But you guys made it to the end of the video. You know what I'm going to ask. Do me a favor. Hit that like button if you like this video. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Really helps us out. If you look right here, pow, you can see that over 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. So do me a favor, help us out. We're at 59.50. We only got 50 more to hit the goal. So that would be super cool to uh, maybe hit that goal by the end of October. I would be super awesome. And I would say thank you guys to all of you out there. Finally, hit the bell icon so you know the next video is coming out from all of us here at Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Unleashed, my gym, and the Martial Arts Limited Association, all of us here. My man, uh, Sifu Ed Stahl, my man, Sensei Josh Owens, and of course, myself, bringing you guys videos in all things martial arts. You guys stay safe, keep training, keep your hands up, and this is Sensei JD, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.